So Steve Brain, 12 metres outside the 22 in All Black territory. No score on the game. Tapped on the All Black side, but once again, as we saw in the first test, it's done tidy. Kirk under pressure. 15 metres out. Steve Brain, close to the line. Bainbridge, an early try to England. In fact, it's John Hall, the big side row forward, who gets the try. And a great start once again to England. Just two minutes gone in the game. And once again, it came from tapped ball that the All Blacks thrashed back to David Kirk. He couldn't take it. And this is where the All Blacks got into all sorts of trouble. Kirk missed the kick into touch. And then New Zealand going backwards. And Brain just about knocked it on. Lucky he didn't take the ball. And then John Hall crashing over. What a start. Barnes is wide out. Didn't hit it particularly well, but it's two points nonetheless. So England six points up, just two minutes gone. And the scrum was 10 metres out from the 22 in English territory. Next dead back to Kirk on the blind side to Smith, not much room. Good kick though from Smith. Taylor was there quickly. Porkery to John Kerwin. First test try for John Kerwin. Well, what an emphatic reply by the All Blacks. And a good kick from Wayne Smith will get his confidence up. See the way he kicked it right on the point across the field. It was contested by an All Black and an Englishman, that was Taylor, picked up by Pokey. The good pass over the top, and John Kerwin did the rest. In trouble getting it down. It's a free kick here to the All Blacks. So there could be a drop kick on here. Karen Crowley is coming rather slowly. I think Wayne Smith could be the man. He's walking out number 10. As long as he takes his time. Kirk back to Smith, the drop kick. Wayne Smith, the drop kick, and the All Blacks now lead by 10 points to 6. Back to a full line out now for England with David Cook at the back. Coming again for England, Melville to Barnes, the drop kick from Barnes. And Stuart Barnes replies to the drop kick a few moments ago by Wayne Smith. And the deficit now just the one point. New Zealand 10, England 9. Hill. Held by T. Oh, he just held on to it. There's a dive. Jock off, I think. It is. Jock off the drive. Continued pressure by the All Blacks brings its reward as Jock Hobbs gets the try and the All Blacks now have a decisive lead in the game. Here we have the end on. You can watch there's Mike T getting it again there. Tried to give it back to Hill. Jock Hobbs there. Kieran Crowley out near the touchline. Never any doubt about it from Karen Crowley. And the All Blacks now with that 10-point margin, four minutes into the second half. For Megstead and Kirk, perhaps, to uh, get something up on that blind side. Once again held by the All Blacks, Megstead. Getting close to the line, Megstead. Held by Cook, Megstead got the try. I think they might have to share that try. Unrelenting pressure, those two scrubs. Good control from Murray Mextead. Cook was offside, basically the ball hadn't come out. Shaw with the ball, Mextead has got his hand on it as well, and over they go. All Blacks continuing to press, leading by 25 points to nine. Big advantage in the scrum today for the All Blacks. Kirk away to Smith to Taylor. Missing out Porkery. 
Crowley. Green. Craig Green. And gets there. First test try for Craig Green. And the All Blacks score their fourth try of the afternoon. This is the skip move, the very good move taken. Now watch the way it goes straight across Paul Curry's chest and in came Karen Crowley at pace and a good move by Craig Green coming inside his marker and it's just the strength of this man that took him over the line. Look at that, sheer strength, good try. Murray mixed it with a free jump at the back of the line out, taken in by Pierce. Continued control from the All Black forwards. Smith, they're all in here, the All Blacks. Porkery, intercept. Mike Harrison again. He's got too much pace. And for the second time in two test matches, Mike Harrison gets the try. Mike Harrison, burglar bill perhaps we could call him, because it was good play from the All Blacks. They were doing things in the back line. They had lots of players. Everybody was in the back line. There's the skip. There's the pass from Paul Kerry. Harrison there. And even though he's favouring a leg, no one could catch him. And away he went. Two tries and two tests. Ten metres from England's line. Gary Whitten, John Ashworth. Murray Pierce rising high. Straight through the centre of the England pack by the All Black forwards again. Let's see who comes up with it. Could be Murray Pierce. He took the ball on the line out, but it's Mark Shaw. Try number five for the All Blacks goes to Mark Shaw, the sixth try in Test rugby. Tremendous forward pressure, beautiful take from Pierce, two-handed, number four going up there, and then the pressure going on him. Look at the All Blacks just slowly pushing Pierce. Number six, watch for Mark Shaw. As he takes the ball off Murray Pierce and plonks it down. Attack. The scrum on the 22. All Blacks ball. Kirk to Smith, Taylor. Porkery, Crowley, Craig Green, try number two for Craig Green. Once again, tremendously decisive entry into the back line from Kieran Crowley. The skip from Kerwin. Now what's the way that Paul Kerry gives it to Crowley? And there the good pass to Green. And Green over just in from the corner. Kirk. Missing out Taylor this time. Again Crowley in. Taylor. Warwick Taylor. Looking for John Kerwin. David Cook took it well though for England. Nice counter-attack by Mike T. And Mike Harrison is not at all happy with Stephen Porkery. And it's all off. And that was just ridiculous. Now, Mark Shaw had no right to go in there and have a go. That, that's the sort of thing that is ordering off material to, to come into someone else's business. Hill. Kieran Crowley, 10 metres out from his 22s, trying to open it up. Craig Green topples over. Good recovery, though. Murray Pierce was there, it was forward. And that's it, it's all over.